Awakening Signs is your divine masculine nearing his breakthrough. The concept we're exploring today is not merely a question of gender, but rather an investigation into the universal energy that stirs within each one of us. The divine masculine, a notion that has been celebrated and revered in societies across the globe, symbolizes a force of nature that is characterized by strength, valor, and gallantry. It's a force that also represents responsibility and assertiveness, traits often associated with leadership. When we talk about the divine masculine, we refer to an energy that is inherent in all of us, regardless of our gender or identity. It is an energy that is bold, protective, and unwavering. It's the strength that fuels our ambitions, the bravery that empowers us to face our fears, and the responsibility that enables us to care for those around us. But how do we recognize the awakening of this universal force within our lives? There are two key indicators that may suggest this profound spiritual shift. The first is a noticeable enhancement in self-awareness. This is not just a fleeting observation, but a profound journey of personal growth. This transformative shift offers a renewed perspective that allows us to realize our true potential, to view ourselves as more than just physical beings, but as spiritual entities with the potential to shape our destinies. The second sign is the embrace of vulnerability. This entails the breaking down of walls that were constructed by ego and fear, allowing us to open up, to be vulnerable, and to truly connect with our emotions. This vulnerability signifies emotional strength and resilience, acting as a testament to the awakening of the divine masculine. So I urge you to explore within and ask yourself, is your divine masculine nearing his breakthrough? Remember, this journey is one of self-discovery and growth. It's not a sprint, but a marathon. Embrace it wholeheartedly and observe as you metamorphose into a more balanced, resilient, and self-aware individual. Scene two, understanding the divine masculine. Understanding the divine masculine. But what exactly is the divine masculine? This profound concept, deeply embedded in us all, irrespective of our gender, is an essential component in our spiritual journey and personal growth. It is not about exerting dominance or control, but rather maintaining a balance. It is the counterpart to the divine feminine. Each aspect of these energies not merely complementing each other, but also enhancing and strengthening one another. The divine masculine embodies a range of qualities, each as significant as the other. It stands for strength, an inner force that empowers us to face life's challenges with courage and determination. It stands for courage, the ability to face fear, adversity, and uncertainty with unwavering determination. It stands for assertiveness, the capacity to state and defend our stance and make our voice heard. It stands for responsibility, the commitment to fulfill our duties and obligations diligently. However, the divine masculine is not just about strength and assertiveness. It's about balance. It also includes the embrace of vulnerability, the capability to admit and accept our shortcomings, and the strength to confess when we are wrong. It is about the courage to express our emotions openly, to let our feelings be seen and heard, to be sensitive to our own needs and those of others. But why is understanding divine masculine so important? Because acknowledging this force within us aids in achieving a balance of energies. It enables us to grow, to evolve, to become more self-aware and resilient individuals. This understanding is vital as it serves as a guiding light on our journey towards self-discovery and personal growth. It makes us more aware of our own strengths and weaknesses and helps us to develop strategies to manage them effectively. It's about recognizing this energy within us, nurturing it, and allowing it to guide us on our path of growth and self-discovery. Understanding the divine masculine is not just an intellectual exercise, it's a practice, a journey. It requires patience, dedication, and a willingness to look within, to confront our fears and limitations, to challenge our beliefs and assumptions, and to continually strive for balance and harmony. Understanding the divine masculine is the first step towards awakening. It's about recognizing this energy within us, nurturing it, and allowing it to guide us on our journey. So, as we journey towards self-discovery, let's take a moment to understand and embrace our divine masculine, for it is a part of us all. Scene three, the journey of self-discovery. Embarking on the journey of self-discovery, 
You may wonder what makes this journey so vital to the awakening of our divine masculine. Essentially, self-discovery is the root, the avenue that guides us towards this potent energy within us. It involves carefully removing the veils of societal norms and anticipations and making a connection with our authentic selves. It's centered around finding the essence of our being beyond the personas we assume and the facades we uphold. It's an exploration into the innermost depths of our soul, a voyage of recovery, acceptance and metamorphosis. So what's the starting point of this exploration? The journey begins with self-awareness, cultivating an understanding of our thoughts, our emotions and our actions, understanding how they shape our existence and influence the world at large. It demands introspection, reflection and mindfulness. It's about being completely honest with ourselves, recognizing our talents, shortfalls, apprehensions and ambitions. Furthermore, it requires bravery, the bravery to confront our innermost fears, our uncertainties and our self-doubts. The bravery to venture beyond our familiar boundaries, to challenge our self-imposed limitations and to push past our comfort zones. Moreover, it requires resilience and endurance. Self-discovery isn't a singular event, but an ongoing process. It's a journey of personal growth, of evolution, of becoming. It's about falling, rising, learning, unlearning, and learning anew. It's about accepting the unpredictability, enduring the discomfort, and persisting through the adversities. This journey also involves the cultivation of self-love and compassion, understanding that we are works in progress and that it's okay to be imperfect. It's about learning to embrace our flaws and learning to see our mistakes not as failures but as stepping stones towards growth and evolution. This journey, moreover, isn't a solitary one. It's about forging connections with others who are on the same path, finding solace and support in shared experiences and learning from the wisdom of those who have walked this path before us. So let's embark on this journey, a journey of self-discovery. A journey towards awakening our divine masculine. Remember, self-discovery is not a destination, but a journey. A journey of a lifetime. A journey to becoming the best version of ourselves. As we journey deeper into the realm of self-discovery, we encounter a crucial aspect that many of us often overlook. Vulnerability. Vulnerability, in essence, is about opening up, about being honest, about exhibiting authenticity and courageously showing our true selves to the world. It's about daring to expose our hearts, to share our deepest fears, hopes and dreams that make us who we are. Here, vulnerability becomes the catalyst for emotional honesty. Vulnerability is more than just laying bare our feelings. It's also about allowing ourselves to feel, to express, to connect on a deeper level with our own self and others. It's about standing tall in our humaneness, embracing our imperfections and acknowledging our flaws. It helps us to humanize ourselves in our own eyes and the eyes of others. But this brings us to a crucial question. How do we embrace vulnerability? How do we adopt this life-changing aspect and make it an integral part of our lives? The first step in this journey is to understand that vulnerability should never be equated with weakness. On the contrary, it's a sign of remarkable strength. It takes immense courage to peel off our protective layers, to let go of the personas we've built, to confront the shadows that lurk within us. The second step is to create a nurturing space for vulnerability, a space where there's no room for judgment, only compassion and understanding. This safe space allows vulnerability to flourish. It's created when we learn to love ourselves, accept our shortcomings and forgive ourselves for our past mistakes. Here, self-love, self-acceptance, and self-forgiveness become the pillars of our personal growth. The next step in embracing vulnerability is to practice it. We need to brave the risk, step into the unknown, face our fears with eyes wide open. We need to gather the courage to express our emotions, to share our thoughts, to communicate our needs, to speak our truth. In doing so, we not only become vulnerable, but also resilient. Lastly, while striving to be vulnerable, we must remember to be gentle with ourselves. We need to be patient, to be kind, to give ourselves the grace to grow at our own pace. Vulnerability is not a race, it's a journey. It's not a one-time event, but a continuous process. It's about personal evolution, about transformation, and about becoming more human, more real, and more authentic. So let's embrace vulnerability wholeheartedly. Let's embrace our humanity with open arms. Let's awaken our divine masculine. Because vulnerability is not a weakness, it's a strength. It's a bridge to meaningful connections, to profound love, to personal growth. And most importantly, it's a pathway to awakening 
our divine masculine. In the journey of awakening the divine masculine, we now turn our focus to two essential pillars, strength and courage. These are not merely physical attributes, but reflect an embodiment of mental and emotional fortitude. Strength and courage form the very bedrock of the divine masculine, the underpinning upon which all other qualities lie. The divine masculine isn't about show of power or uncontrolled aggression, rather it's about demonstrating fortitude, the bravery to uphold what is right, to preserve, to serve and to love with profound intensity and unwavering integrity. It's about showcasing the strength to be vulnerable, to stay true, to be genuine in every possible way. It's about having the audacity to confront our fears head on, to challenge our limiting beliefs and to address our concealed shadows. But how can we foster these noble qualities? Firstly, we must realize that strength courage are akin to muscles. They need to be flexed, they need to be put to the test and they need to be cared for. Similar to physical muscles, they become stronger with consistent use regular practice, and relentless perseverance. Let's take a look at some ways to nurture strength and courage. Begin by practicing self-reflection. Make it a habit to contemplate your actions, your thoughts, and your emotions. Pinpoint areas where you need to fortify your strength, where you need to amplify your courage. Next, constantly surround yourself with positive influences. Build relationships with people who inspire you, who push you to your limits, encourage you to rise above yourself. These are the individuals who will help you grow and evolve. Embrace challenges head on. View them not as obstacles, but as golden opportunities for personal growth, for learning, for inward transformation. Don't sidestep them. Instead, welcome them with open arms. The importance of practicing self-love and self-care cannot be overstated. Tend to your physical, mental, and emotional well-being. Love and respect yourself. Remember, you are your own best friend, your own cheerleader, your own motivator. Strength and courage are not about portraying oneself as invincible, but about showcasing resilience. They don't mean never falling, but always standing back up, dusting yourself off and moving forward. They are not about suppressing fear, but about possessing the determination to keep moving despite fear. They form the pillars on which the divine masculine stands, the driving force that fuels his journey of awakening. So let's channel our efforts in fostering strength and courage. Let's fully embrace our divine masculine. Continuing our exploration to awaken the divine masculine, let's delve deeper into a paramount element responsibility. This vital ingredient plays an extraordinary role in the manifestation of the divine masculine within us. It symbolizes the virtue of accountability, a sense of commitment towards both our own selves as well as others, and the capacity to own our actions and face their repercussions. The divine masculine fears not responsibility. Instead, he embraces it wholeheartedly, recognizing that it is an integral part of personal growth and advancement. Through the acknowledgement and acceptance of responsibility, he cultivates the attributes of strength, courage, and wisdom. It is by taking responsibility that he learns to navigate the turbulent tides of life, to grow from his mistakes, and to transform into a superior version of himself. But cultivating this sense of responsibility might seem daunting. How do we do it? Let's consider a few guidelines. One, practice self-awareness. Be acutely aware of your actions, your words, and your thoughts, as well as their impact on you and those around you. It is only through this clarity that you can understand the power your actions exert on the world around you, ensuring you make decisions conscientiously. Two, embrace your mistakes. Mistakes are an inevitable part of life's journey. Accepting them is the first step towards learning from them. By taking necessary steps to correct them, you take responsibility for your actions, thereby moving closer to embodying the divine masculine. Three, set personal goals. Establishing clear and attainable goals give you a sense of purpose and direction in life. It ignites a spark within you, motivating you to take responsibility for your actions and decisions. Four, be proactive. Do not sit idly by, waiting for things to materialize. Take charge, make well-informed decisions, and take the necessary actions to achieve your goals. Responsibility is more than a mere burden. It's a source of great empowerment. It acts as a tool that enables us to make more informed choices, to live deliberately, and to create a life that mirrors our values and aspirations. It is through embracing responsibility that we step into our power, 
that we truly embody the divine masculine. So let's welcome responsibility with open arms. Let's awaken our divine masculine. Next on our journey, we delve into the potency of assertiveness, a defining characteristic of the divine masculine. Assertiveness is best described as the capability to voice one's feelings, desires and needs openly, but with dignity without encroaching upon the rights of others. It signifies the balance between meekness and aggression, between holding back and voicing out. The divine masculine in his infinite wisdom recognizes the pivotal role of assertiveness. He is aware that effective communication of his needs is possible only through assertiveness that it is through this quality he can establish boundaries and safeguard his physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being. Assertiveness is not merely an attribute, it is the representation of self-awareness and self-confidence. It provides us with the ability to express our thoughts and feelings clearly, which in turn helps us to establish boundaries and protect our overall well-being. But the question remains, how can we develop assertiveness? To help you on this journey, here are some useful pointers. One, practice self-awareness. This is the initial step. Understand your feelings, study your needs, and recognize your desires. Be aware of what you want and comprehend why you want it. Two, be clear and direct. The second step is to learn to express your thoughts and feelings in a clear and direct manner. Skirting around the issue or sugarcoating your words will only lead to confusion and misunderstanding. Three, Set boundaries. The third step is of utmost importance. Learn the power of the word no. Protect your time, your energy, and your resources. Do not allow others to exploit you in any way. Four, respect others. The final step is to treat everyone with respect. Listen to their needs and respect their boundaries. Remember that being assertive doesn't give you the right to trample over others. Assertiveness, in essence, is about mutual respect and creating a balance of power. It's not about establishing dominance over others, rather it's about valuing oneself and others equally. It's about setting up a healthy power equilibrium and mutual respect. It's a tool of empowerment that guides us to communicate effectively, set boundaries and protect our well-being. We embody the divine masculine through assertiveness. So let's make a commitment to embrace assertiveness to awaken our divine masculine. As we reach the end of our exploration, we pause to take stock of the adventure we've embarked on. We've delved deep into the early indications of the divine masculine, scrutinized the significance of welcoming vulnerability, and grasped the critical role of strength and bravery. We've enlightened ourselves about necessity of responsibility, the potency of assertiveness, and the scope of leadership. These elements collectively form a crucial part of the divine masculine, an inner force that demands comprehension, admiration, and equilibrium. The journey of awakening the divine masculine us is not a race to be won or a competition to be aced. It is a personal expedition that necessitates introspection, self-discovery, and self-love. It's about acknowledging your innermost needs, articulating them with confidence, and honoring the needs of fellow human beings. It's about welcoming vulnerability demonstrating strength and courage in the face of adversity and taking responsibility for your actions and their repercussions. As we draw this exploration to a close, it's essential to remember that the divine masculine is not about exerting dominance or superiority over others, but about discovering a healthy balance of power and respect within ourselves and reciprocating that balance with others. It's about standing up for what we hold dear, safeguarding our emotional and physical well-being and respecting the rights and boundaries of others. The Divine Masculine is a journey of self-discovery and self-improvement, encouraging us to step out of our comfort zones, challenge our preconceived notions, and strive for personal growth. It's about becoming aware of the subconscious patterns that guide us and making conscious decisions to evolve grow. So, dear viewers, let's cherish this odyssey. Let's awaken our divine masculine, and let's collaboratively build a world that is balanced, respectful, and harmonious. Embrace your journey and awaken your divine masculine.